Hey guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of the Flow No USB conference computer microphone. Yeah, listing on Amazon says only directional PC microphone for desktop, laptop, external microphone with USB C and 3.5 mm jack for video call, Zoom, meeting, and so on. It's listed currently on Amazon for $39. Uh, but you can get it cheaper with Prime for $25.99 currently, so I think it's a pretty good opportunity to buy the thing. It has a lot of good reviews, so I thought I'd give it a try and show you how good this really is. So here's the box with the description, some uh, of the specs here also on the side. Yeah, let's open the box and see what we get. There's even small instructions manual. Let's see. Yeah, the English part is not so large, so it could be worse to show you that. So in case you need that to make a better buy decision or if you bought used or just lost the instructions, there's not so much. I mean, it's not rocket science. It's just a microphone, but you want to use it the right way and not miss any of the functions. So here underneath there is some cable or in two cables. We have the USB-A to USB-C and the 3.5 to 3.5. It's a three pin cable. So here's the microphone, really nice, small, beautiful, sturdy, I would say, yeah, this is really nice build here, solid metal, not cheap plastic or so, and it comes with this nice soft rubber feet here, has really solid stand here, the only button which we have is the mute button, of course, that's the only thing we actually need. It also comes with some nice noise cancelling or echo cancelling, that's really important, can be really, really helpful during some conferences. And in case you think you're missing the nice velvet storage bag, yeah, that's underneath here, don't miss out on this thing here, could be a nice thing to go to the next meeting to have everything with you. So here we are on a laptop with Windows 10 and here we have the USB plug. So let's see how easy this is to install and it seems to have detected this setting, setting up the device. We are setting up USB audio device. You see also the light. Usually the light is indicating that this is on mute, we can press here and disable the mute. So this is not turned on like this, but actually the mute is turned on and now like this it's recording. So now it's saying the device is ready, USB audio driver set up and ready to go. Of course you can always double check, go to this icon here underneath, go to the speaker here, then right click and go to the uh, sound settings and you can control everything make sure that everything is working so here we have it already I hope you can see that and when we go down a little bit here on the right side it's a little bit difficult without the mouse but you can see here we have the choice between the microphone 2 and the microphone USB audio device uh, the, the idea real tech usually that's the internal microphone so that's the microphone here and you can see when I touch the thing here then it's uh, showing something so it's definitely this microphone and now I turn this thing off yeah okay so definitely looks like I was wrong when we have the blue light then it's recording when the blue light is off then it's not recording so I was a little bit wrong sorry for that but it looks like everything was set up automatically, right? So usually you don't have to do anything. It will usually, when you install a new microphone, it will usually pick the new uh, microphone or the new device, whatever you have also, usually with a speaker. So the microphone is active and it should be this. So I'm going to record something now. And I'm doing a test here from this side. So I'm testing the front. Now I'm testing the left side. Now I'm testing the right side. And now I'm testing from the back. So let's see the difference. So when I play this, this is a little bit weird. It's not playing anything. 
uh, it looks like it's trying to use this microphone as a speaker when I unplug it then I can hear it so we can hear it but of course it's a little bit difficult for you so I'm going to send this to my computer I'm listening to that I'm also going to play that for you in original sound quality and so I'm going to play that for you now and I'm doing a test here from this side so I'm testing the front now I'm testing the left side now I'm testing the right side and now I'm testing from the back so let's see the difference so I hope you have been able to hear everything and yeah the good thing is definitely it picks up the voices from all the four sides there was actually no difference to notice the audio I mean the voice is pretty natural I would say it's a really good quality and there is really some noise cancellation at least when you touch this thing usually when you touch a microphone there is some strange noise and I mean I've been moving around this microphone and there was almost nothing to hear so they did a really good job on that but what I liked is that it was more uh, sensitive the microphone I had to boost the recording by about 12 decibel to bring it on a decent level I mean to a level which I have usually with my microphone which I'm using for YouTube and it's not even the best microphone so yeah sensitivity could be a little bit higher I mean with most of the programs it shouldn't be a problem I mean with most of the programs which you're using to communicate or make conference calls it should be possible to uh, mitigate that with some audio leveling I mean most programs even support automatic leveling so like I think even for Skype or so so it shouldn't be a problem so now let's come to the second function of this microphone. It's a really interesting function. I was actually expecting something totally different. I was thinking, okay, we can use this microphone with a 3.5 millimeter cable to use like for a speaker, like if, if you're doing a karaoke or something like that. No, that's not the case. You cannot use that. Uh, as a microphone input for 3.5 millimeter device but you can use it for your headset uh, something like that if you have a wired headset with a 3.5 millimeter jack and it doesn't matter if it's a three pin or a four pin here i have a four pin like this and when I'm playing something on the computer and I have it connected through the USB here and here I have the 3.5 millimeter jack connected to the headset now I can listen to what I'm playing here so this could be something to play maybe on an external speaker if you don't have a 3.5 millimeter jack on your laptop or computer which can happen and then you can use this thing this is probably a rather rare situation but it is a nice enhancement a little bit of a nice add-on to the whole package so overall i would say definitely a good value for the price what we get solid thing solid build really nice uh, construction something which you can take for travel to your next conference or something like that this is really uh, a good build this thing also works really solid easy to find and the noise cancelling is really good that we have same sensitivity from all the way around 360 degrees just the sensitivity could be a little bit better but i'm not complaining at this price range and so i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time